speakers, I have the honor to introduce are our legislative leaders in Trenton. And you know, it's not been an easy job for them having to deal with a governor who often insults them and is a bully, but more than that, is raw on the issues. And they've had to fight the fight for the average person in the state of New Jersey, for the working men and women of the state of New Jersey, working on a minimum wage, trying to create jobs, trying to create economic incentives for the economy to grow. And every time they've been fought and had vetoes by the current governor. And nonetheless, even in all that, they have managed to work together uh, between the Assembly and the Senate to move the state forward despite, despite constantly having to deal with a governor who wants to take us in the other direction and is not worried about the average person and making this economy grow. So I'm very proud here today to first of all introduce our leader in the state senate, our senate president, Steve Sweeney. Good afternoon. Are you excited? Are you ready? Let me tell you something. I am thrilled to be here today to endorse and support Barbara Bono for governor. We all are, right? I have my colleagues in the Senate, Senator Whalen, Senator Greenstein, Senator Gordon, have come here. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Senator Smith has already been introduced. Because, you know, elections have consequences. Elections mean something to every one of us. First, remember, we got 700,000 more Democrats than Republicans. How can we be underdogs? No, there's no lie. And I can tell you, and I'm not a mind reader, but I can guarantee you one thing. He ain't getting 45% of the Democrat vote. Right or wrong? Nobody in here is voting for him. Look, elections have consequences. What I can tell you is, you know, Barbara and I have gone head to head and had many published fights. <laughs> Legendary fights, so when I know she's a person of conscience, absolutely. But I can tell you what I do know. If Barbara Bono was governor, we would have marriage equality in this state. She's <laughs> if Barbara Bono was governor, we would have a progressive minimum wage that increases annually. Wouldn't get jerked around with, am I going to do the earned income tax credit? No, I won't do it. Because Barbara Bona would never play with the working poor. She would support that. <laughs> Barbara Bona, would we even be having a debate if Barbara was the governor of a woman's health care? <laughs> what an embarrassment in this state that we have to fight for women's health care. The state of New Jersey, all places. Look, this ain't a conservative state by no means, and we're not going to become one for a national image for someone that's looking to go someplace else. And I can tell you, and I'm going to finish up with this, I know one thing, if Barbara Bonham was governor, millionaires would pay their fair share. Yes, 